Okay, so this is um, NV4 HD4000 i5 3317U. So I'm going to install El Capitan. And this is my external hard drive, which I'm going to install the El Capitan to this. I'm going to restore it to this uh, laptop. So I'm going to plug it in. Okay, so this is my 8GB 10.11.1 with Clover version 3220. So I'm going to plug it in here. Okay. So if you plan to use the uh, virtual machine like um, VMware, the virtualization technology must be enabled. The boot option, you better have the legacy support enabled. Hit F10 to save. And then we hit F9. Alright, we're going to hit F9 to change the boot order. So which one are you going to use? We did the Clover on the 3.0, okay? So let's do that. So 3312 metal. Now we're not going to put from there. We're going to boot from. I have the uh, Capitan Bay System 11 1. So I'm going to boot from there, okay? So always install from an external hard drive before we restore it. it took 2 minutes and 40 seconds to go up to here you have to go to this utility and then this is my my external hard drive okay and I'm going to erase this El Capitan X111 but I'm going to name it my daughter LD X one 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 erase that so I got forty nine gig fifty gig so we'll install it in there so we close it and continue agree so where is she? Audi X111. So if you look at customize, it will say 9.1 gig. So continue. So they will tell you that it's going to take 17 minutes. Okay, so it's done. It's done. Now we reboot. We're going to use the uh, USB disk. 3.0 flash drive again. We're going to boot Mac OS X from Audi X111 is the one we just did. Let's see. Now make sure you have dot equal to zero. If not, it will get stuck at the um, boot up screen. So it should take like five minutes or so. So it's building the cache. Here's the first time. 2 minutes and 37 seconds sorry it took 4 minutes ok so we're here continue continue so don't transfer anything it's brand new enable yes so this one is going to be Okay, so it's working now. But here, first we want to do is to go to Finder, Preference, and then turn on the hard disk. Connected server, Advanced, Sidebar, Don't use. Turn on everything.
Okay, so after patch Apple HDA and loading the um, the text from Rehab Man, uh, the SDT, the battery work, Wi-Fi work, the sound work. After we patch the uh, USB port and our Bluetooth come out. Oh, here it is. All right, the Bluetooth works. Oh, here it is. Pair it. Look at the mouse. Get there. Pretty. Administrative tools is down here. Computer management. Uh, we go to storage. Shrink this big partition. Shrink the volume. So you shrink half of it. They won't let you to shrink more. So if I want to shrink this one to 300. I have to use mini partition or something to shrink this one to whatever they let you. I have 230 gig allocated for me and make a new simple volume. That's fine. I can even use a ladder but after you install it, it won't have any letter, so do not assign. Okay. You can use this one. You can't you can't do whatever you want. You can do the NTFS because later you're gonna restore it with uh, Mac OS anyhow. So this is L Capitan X111. That's what I'm going to do later. Okay. Okay, so it's done. Now I'm ready to restore. Okay, F9. So what we need to do is to boot into the installation and from there we'll restore it. So look for a base system. And then we'll restore it from there. Alright, so we're on this screen. We go to utility. Now the internal one we we shrank a partition and we name it El Capitan 111. Restore to this from so we restore it from Audi X111. That's the one, the external hard drive that we know everything's working. So now we restore into the internal hard drive. It's going to take maybe 10 15 minutes. Okay, the restoration is done. Now we can reboot F9 the Clover so I'm gonna go to Audi X111 so from now we're gonna have to install the uh, Clover into the EFI folder so we don't have to use the external flash drive to boot again looks good mouse working alright okay so now we're going to install this. Continue. Customize. UEFI. Team. Driver. RC script. So in the no name. We have the EFI 
Okay, Clover is here. So what we need to do is to copy everything from the external Clover to here. Name this one to original. Okay, so we're going to reboot. It doesn't seem to go to the Clover. In order to fix Clover as MDOS, well, we need to reformat the EFI folder, which will be 104 meg to FAT32. So first we need to mount it with Clover Configurator. is we take out the whole EFI folder, okay? And put it somewhere. Because we're gonna copy it completely back. Okay. So now, what we need to do is to execute this command. Because this is this one and this is S2 okay after we did this we will have um, FAT32 I'm not gonna do it but it's gonna mount the FAT32 and what you're gonna do is that when it's done it will be empty all we need to do is to drag this whole folder over, okay? Okay, so after copy the uh, Clover folder onto the uh, EFI folder, the FAT32, now we can reboot and see if Clover will work with the new EFI. Okay, let's see if it goes into the, yeah, Clover 32. So now we can do a boot. Very nice. 